You've got this. That's right. And if you're watching the Treva and Kevin show, you've got us. You found us. Thank you so much for tuning in. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yes. And I've got a word. What's your I always word? love the word. If you needed a word to lift you up, always start your day out with a Bible verse. Mm -hmm. Of course, my favorite is trust in the Lord with all your I heart. I love it. Lean not to your own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge Him. Him. And let Him direct your path. Yes. Because some days I don't know whether to go left or right, but Lord, you do. Show yes. me. Yes. That's one thing I love. He says, though we walk by faith, and not by sight. Is that correct? That is I, correct. You know, and I just love that because our faith will always lead us home. It will guide us into his truth. So we have to trust him. That's what even blind faith is about. Amen. Although we can't see it. Yes. We still have to trust it. So you've got this. Yeah. Come on now. You can do it. You can I do hear, all things. You know, Come it on. is a word of encouragement. Yes, we'll hear is. some. You know, I'm getting ready to go. These trials, I got my witnesses here and I got the family okay, here. Okay. And then uh, the, it takes the most simple person to say, Kev, we got this. Yes. Kev, we got this. That's right. I go to the pastor and say, Pastor, we got that big trial tomorrow. I want you to say a prayer that yes. God will give me a clear mind. Yes. That he'll give me the words to I say that can make a difference. So you trust him. And I will trust Completely. him. Completely. Even when I'm overwhelmed. Even when the other side is intimidated. Even when they're more manned, outgunned, outmanned. Mm. But with God on your side, please mm. help them because we're coming. We're coming and we're not walking in fear. You know what they said about Mike Tyson? They got into the case and he knocked him out. I said, Mike, what happened? He said, I saw fear in his eyes. Mm -hmm. And I have seen fear in other lawyers' mm -hmm. eyes. When you're walking right up, I can see the fear. You can now, smell it. I, when you ask God to empower you, you say, Lord, here we come. And then that David and Goliath, we never get away from it. He said, I'll have your hand. He said, today I'll have yours. Oh my gosh. So let me tell you what. It's if you're watching this show and if it's your first time, this is going to, it won't be your last time. Why do people tune in to watch our Because they want some hope. They want some yes. inspiration. They're getting beat up and beat down. But we're bringing some good news. Some hope. There's some resurrection hope coming. All right. So you've got this. Tell a friend we're on. It's the Treva and Kevin Show. Thank See you. you. We're back, Treva and Kevin show. Mr. Kennedy, our great friend of the show, Marla Yeah, Marla, McCance. we like having Marla. You know, oh. it's part of the team. Marla's been around here a long Forever. time helping us. Always. But the good thing is, you know, she never has any attitude. No. You know, that's one of the things I want to talk to the producers before this what? shows up. I want them to have one of them little conversations oh about goodness. your attitude. Oh. If we can pull Treva <laughs> in line with the rest of the team, what could we get oh, done? Oh, my goodness. We'd we say were Oprah just, scoot you know, all we over. were just talking about you when you were in your dressing room. Room, yeah. We were saying, you need to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never will forget. I was up here and, and I was riding with them and they come up and said, Kevin, you need to call an Uber because you're not riding with us. I said, okay. Right. We put you out too. Ooh, Every Marla. time I ride with them, yes. they always want to go to the restaurant. Every time they go to the restaurant, oh guess goodness. who they want to give the bill to? Please, Treatment. Isn't it more blessed to yes. give than to receive? Well, we're spending your money. I know. Marla McCants, you always <laughs> have a great word for us and a beautiful smile. Thank you. Please Share with us today what's on your heart. Well, I came across this, this saying here. It says, always remember this. Grapes must be crushed to make wine. Diamonds form under pressure. Mm -hmm. Olives are pressed to release oil. Seeds grow in the darkness. Whenever you feel crushed, under pressure, pressed, or in darkness, mm -hmm. you are in the powerful place of transformation. Amen. Trust the process. Pretty good. One of my rich, rich friends, he was in charge of evaluating companies around the uh, United States. And he would go in and evaluate, and he was time and space. Y'all spend too much time doing this. And he, with his words, he shuts the plant or keeps it open. He was a powerful man. And one of his famous words was, improve the process. Okay. And that's what we try to do here yes. and all the time. How can we do our job better? And that was good. 
So if you're under pressure, y'all should have seen Trayvon when I first got her. Oh my Man, gosh. you talk when about chipping it. away and polishing. She is a brilliant, bright oh, diamond today. Thank you. But we've got to attribute uh, how you, you got there. I tell what do you attribute it to? Go to ahead and Jesus, tell the truth. Jesus and my good friend Marla. <laughs> yeah, I know. I yes. Know. Yeah. She was a diamond in the rough. I was, I, was I, mean. a, I was a diamond and you were the rough. Praise <laughs> yeah. God. Praise the Lord. Marla, Don't you love them? Don't you love them? Marla, talk about, you know, what you came here to share. We want to hear from you. Yes. Talk to oh, us. I just want to tell everyone how good God has been. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I lost my job. I was fired. I've never been fired from a job. Wow. Mm. And I was in, you know, I was told to keep my courage up, keep my strength up and hope. And I was like, oh man, I just let the best get to me. And I yes. was like, oh, I just, I felt so bad because I've never been fired. Mm -hmm. And the Lord come through and bless me with a job. Amen. A better one. Well, what do I take away with that? Praise treat? God. When God closes the door, mm. he's open. And sometimes he can't move you to where he wants to move mm -hmm. you without having to, shut this door that hurts your feelings, wow. hurts your pocketbook, That's right. brings you down, yes. but are we going to trust him through mm -hmm. those valleys? Yes. Now, it's easy for me to talk it until it happened to me. Come on now. And when it happens to us, mm -hmm. oh, man, the world falls apart. That's one of the interesting things about being a lawyer. I've had these assistants around me, and it, it's something different. When y'all are going through the trial, and we got to just sit mm -hmm. here and help you and watch, it's a whole lot different than when we're going mm -hmm. through the trial, yes. Then yes. and it's a whole whole lot different when you lose your job and, you know, and then I watched, when I lose mine. I thank God because I watched you, Marla, go mm -hmm. through that and she went through like a champion. <laughs> she never cursed God. She she Amen. was thankful. Yeah. I mean, it's like that's the God that's in you. I mean, I saw her go through this. The, yeah. And you know what that teaches us? I it did. teaches us to be strong men and women she was of God. Strong. And are you going to trust him? She sure. Did. You can get mad. Go ahead and curse God. I've seen some really smart, intelligent people and they went through a bad divorce and they're ready to cuss God. I said, man, what are you thinking about? Do you want to call the mm -hmm. wrath of God in on you and your family? Yes. Do you? No, Do no. you want to call the wrath? Yeah. You believe there is yes. a wrath of God? Oh, yes. And to this viewing audience, there is a wrath wow. of God. Yes. And he's been a merciful God because of praying people all over this nation. Mm -hmm. I still believe that. Wow. And he protected Sodom and Gomorrah mm -hmm. all till he could find not even 10 righteous men. Mm -hmm. But if he did it then, will he do it to wow. now? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's wow. his words. So, Marla, what was it like for you going through that? Um, I just thank God that I was obedient. I'm, I'm learning to be obedient to his word. Mm. As Rob always says, stay on your course, baby. Yes. <laughs> stay on your purpose. Stay on my purpose. Yes. So. Well, just being obedient. In our Sunday school lesson, we've been teaching and listening. And there, it, the Bible says it's better to be obedient than to sacrifice. Than to sacrifice. What does that mean? Yes. Well, you go out and sin like crazy. I'm going to write to church a, a big check. That's a sacrificial check mm -hmm. I'm going to give. But the scriptures and teaches us mm -hmm. to be obedient. Yes. One of the preachers in town says, read your Bible. And do what it says. It's real simple. Yes. For Marla, yes. Treba, yes. and guess who? Kevin. Kevin. That's right. Read your Bible yes. and do what it says. And you know, I've been Marla has been a great blessing because I'm taking a conflict uh, leadership, conflict yeah. management course in for my grad school. So we often discuss how do you handle a conflict. And sometimes people get these attitudes and they get these I've like what it. you have. I've had it on the Trayvon and Kevin you know, show. Absolutely. Sure have. I'm and glad so you Marla, we me. talk about the five chairs. We've read about she's laughing. You know how Cut some your people, some, you people have that big some, some people are so quick to sit in that red chair. Jackal. Of judgment. Yes. You know, I don't like him or I'm done with him. Tell like, it. How come? You've been, you've been with me I, on some of these. Oh my goodness. And then we go to the next chair, which is Edge. that doubt chair. Yeah, that doubting. Doubtful. Yeah. Yes, you're doubting your ability. And then what's the next chair? The Mercat. Yes. That's where you're aware you're, of things. That's where you're aware of But you don't really respond, respond. but you're aware, you're aware to, aware. like, there's a situation going on. Brewing. There's another chair. Mm -hmm. The dolphin. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? Uh, He's somewhere in there. But the last one is the giraffe where there's like peace where you're okay mm -hmm. with that decision. You know, if someone has an alt with you, you know, you're going to handle it the godly way, mm -hmm. you know? And like I saw you handle that situation. She had love for those people on her job. Yeah. She didn't have an attitude. How That's many true. people would have had an attitude had you been fired? You would have went up to that job and you would have had an attitude, but not Marla. She did well, not have God an will honor a Christian yeah. lady or Christian man's behavior. I saw it. And I looked to God to provide for me. 
if I really didn't believe that, well, Kevin, can you do that when they take your yes. livelihood? Yes. And right now, I'm going to trust. I'd be begging him to say, Lord, you got to provide for me because you know I can't. Wow. And when we undertake all the things that we have, we know we have to trust him because yes. we can't do it, but he can. But he can. Praise God. Well, Marla, what do you want to say in closing? We want to thank you for being a part of this segment. I just, I want to challenge people out there today. Um, as I was uh, saying a couple days ago, it's very important to give your tithes. Mm. It is truly, truly important. It's 10%. All right. I give like it. I like to hear it. And do you know what? It's the same challenge for a rich man as is a poor man. Oh, yes. Because a rich man said, well, 10%. I just can't give 100000 Well, I don't know why you can't mm -hmm. because God's given you a million why you can't stand it. And the poor man that has $5 and he gives 50 cents, mm -hmm. it's still sacrificial. It's still sacrificial. But will you trust him? Yes. yes. So my mother taught me that lesson. That's the greatest financial lesson I've ever Praise learned. God. And, yes. you know, sometimes I go back and wonder, did I teach it clear enough okay. all these years when okay. I was put in position of leadership? And you know what? Today, this show, you've laid it on my heart. Yes. I've, I'm in a spot of influence. I need to take that message God spoke Thank to me you, through Lord. Marla Amen. on this show yes. to take it to those people of influence mm -hmm. to share what you just shared here. Oh, I got God. chill bumps. Thank mm. you, Lord. Lord, strengthen me and help me be used for your glory and let much good mm. come out of the words. Now, let me teach a lesson. Well, we're out of time on this segment. I can't wait. Okay, go ahead. Right now, she taught it and inspired me. Mm -hmm. God's work is still yet to come. We're out of time. Thank you, Marla. Thank you, Marla. Thank you. Thank you. Kevin show. I'm so delighted to introduce this guest. It's my son, Robert. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, Robert. One of my former students right here. Oh. He grew up bigger. He grew another six inches after I turned that man <laughs> loose. Did. Yes, he did. Well, you know. Both I ways. He got wide and he got tall. <laughs> you know that Bible <laughs> song where you say, deep and wide. Deep and wide, there's a river flowing deep and wide. Yes. That's Robert. I tell you, thank God for uh, Robert, you being here today. What does it feel like to hang out on the set today? I mean, look, it feels like home. It feels, feels like, like home. home. So what have you been doing? You've been studying the Word. And talk about some of the things you've been studying with your Bible courses. Oh, uh, well, we've been breaking down the parables, getting a better understanding of it. It's been pretty, you know, pretty interesting going about that way. It's been a journey, too. You know, I see it from, like, a perspective of, like, my timing and everything. Yes. And I see, like, I'm kind of getting on course with where I need to go. I got a long way to go, okay. but I'm getting there, you know, Amen. and... It's just been a blessing, and I'm glad that I can be, you know, in this space again. It's like it my second good. time. It is good. You know, we're studying the Bible when we're little boys. We're studying the Bible when we're in high school. Yes. And now you're a grown man, studying and you're the studying Bible. the Bible. And he read the Bible uh, throughout, cover to cover, this year. So congratulations. Amen. Absolutely. So you got to break my record. I probably read the Bible 13 times through, wow. cover to cover. But greater things my students will do than yet I have oh ever my. done. So, Robert, what was it like being a student of Kevin C. Kennedy? You Please, can tell the truth. Robert, tell the truth. Go on and testify. It was brother. rough, wasn't it? I know it was. <laughs> I told Robert a little earlier, he still stands out. I've had a thousand, but some of his classic lines, he was in some of the little productions we put together. He was really great, and he went on, and he did great things today. Now, there's only one thing. I think he might beat me in an arm wrestle today. That really? might be. Please, Robert, have mercy on Oh, you. my God. But I want you to He'll inspire your you. mother He'll to get into the— but yeah, inspire her to get into the physical well, we're, activity. We're gonna, we're gonna do a celebrity boxing match, and I'll put uh, you against Mr. Kennedy. I know, I yield. It can be a video game. It's a video game. Oh, okay. like UFC three or so. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'd have to surrender. So, what was it about Robert that uh, what made him stand out? He had a big person? smile. Robert had a willing attitude. If I needed somebody to do it, I said, now, Robert, even today, yes. when we were on the set, I said, Robert, Robert is right there. But never But pick bucks. up those hamburgers for you. That's too much. No, no. <laughs> Robert, when you leave out of here, you go get some. <laughs> and make sure your mama don't get nothing but one. She can't handle two. I mean, that's not really learning, but, you know. I'll go. That's all good. That's all good. <laughs>
<laughs> but Robert was always outstanding. Yes. And when he went into the military, I was proud of oh. him, and I'm proud of him now. Great Even things better. he will do. We've invested a lot of our life into Robert. Into Robert. So that is true. So One Robert. of the things that me and Treba did, even with his sister, we'd ride, she'd ride up here, and then we would just pour preaching to her. Yes. And the girl couldn't get away. She, she wanted to jump out of the car at 70 did. miles an hour, but she couldn't do it. <laughs> yes, we had her in that back seat. And yes. Mr. Kennedy said, we're going to brainwash Robert. Yes. And, and he, it's true. Yes. And you know, for those, you don't have Years. the children behind you right now. They're ahead of you. But when you get them in the car, you've got an opportunity to That's really right. share and teach. Because they can't get out. They can't get away. And you can tell yes. about your dad, and you can tell about your granddad, and what you know, because if you don't tell it, it will be escaped and gone. Wow. So, Robert, you're on the set today. What is it? Speak to the viewing audience, someone who's lost their way and they want a deeper relationship with God. Look into that camera and talk to them. Uh, I say the best way is just get into the Word. You know, like, the. I know from a perspective of me still on my journey, like, it can be kind of daunting. You might not, you know, not really, like not really understand it to a T. But just keep reading and keep going, mm -hmm. um, and then go back over and do it again, and then just see how things go as you go. Just keep reading and keep reading. I, I, I find as a safe haven is get to the word when I feel overwhelmed and feel, you know, down. I just get to the word, and that's that, good. That, it puts me, you know, back in the perspective, and I get some good insight on things. So. Get to the word. Get to the and word. He learned that from his daddy. Oh, yeah. he did. Robert. And don't you know, oh. you, his work, your dad's work is complete, and your work is picked up. And so all those sailors that you were with, you know, you were out there, and they used to say a man talks like a sailor, or they say they cuss like, but that's when you really need a godly man to mm -hmm. say, fellas, there's a better way. Mm -hmm. And you've been there. I haven't. And... Uh, but now we're yes. all in different, we'll leave here in a little bit. We're all going different directions. Mm -hmm. But God still has us on the same purpose. That's right. And that's the advancement of the cause of Christ. Yes. And right. that's one of the things I admire so much about Robert. He's young. He could be running the streets. There's a, a million more running mm -hmm. the streets. That's right. Or you can uh, run for Jesus. Run for Jesus. Run for Jesus. And one of the things I said about Robert, when he stood up back there a few minutes ago, I told his mother, I said, when a brave man stands up, mm -hmm. It gives all men courage. And that's the kind of man that you are, Robert. You say, stand up. There'll be days at the church uh, that men like me can stand around and talk and encourage, but it's men like Robert who can pick up those bricks and move them and pick up the logs that need to be moved. And some days when we got to move a church pew, mm -hmm. an older man can't do the job, mm -hmm. but a young man can do it. Mm -hmm. And the Bible talks about the young line and the old line. The church, there's room for everybody. Mm -hmm. You just fulfill your place and fulfill your destiny, Robert. Wow. God bless just, you. Just a blessing. You know, Mr. Kennedy, he has three children. I also have three. You have two sons and a daughter. Yep. I have two sons and a daughter. And I thank God for blessing us with our sons. My sons are very loving. They are nurturing. They, You all look after mom. I mean, when I need help, you're there. And I really appreciate even letting you know we were filming today. You came by the set to say hello to Mr. Kennedy. And so in closing, you know, what do you want to say? I know, tell Mr. Kennedy how much you enjoy the show because you watch the show when it comes on yeah. weekly. How much, how often, how much do you love watching the show? Oh, I think the show is amazing. I just want to say thank you, you know, Indeed. from the past into the present, you know, um, like you said, you, you said, you said a good line. Uh, you said, uh, you poured a lot of life into me and uh, I appreciate that from those moments of doing, you know, the, uh, uh, the internship. Yeah, doing the internship and everything. I just thought that, you know, at that time I couldn't see as everything. far as everything, you. but you know, that I'll never forget that experience. So I just, just thanks, wow. you know, and, uh, of course, you know, right. <laughs> you already know. So well, I'll right. tell you, I got to tell y'all one on Robert, too. You know, when we saw Robert, he is a big man and he could stand up. And he Six was young. four. He's been in and out of the TV show. We had him on one of the show we telecast had. when he was in the military. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he was just in. And <laughs> oh, wow. I, I still have that clip on my phone somewhere. Somebody, one of the, uh, I had a young lawyer with me that day and she videoed it. But I cherished that Aww. moment. And if you didn't know this, the greatest graduation party celebration I ever saw in my entire life, from the richest people that I've ever known to the poorest people. Treva had it for Robert. I was there, and all the friends and the words that were spoken were so profound, and you've carried those words with you all these years. And I still reflect on how powerful 
many years ago. Yeah. But I reflect on it because it made that kind of impression. Wow. Also, Treve, you taught me how to really celebrate a graduation. Mm -hmm. I'd never seen that kind of celebration ever before in my life. You said so you that. taught, and I'll still talk about it wow. today. So with that, I want to teach you to celebrate the moments. Every year somebody has a graduation, celebrate. Mm -hmm. Every right. year we have a Christmas time. Be bold in your witness and thankful. Express gratitude to your family and empower. Speak. Mm -hmm. One of the things that the Jewish people do, the father always blesses the son. Mm -hmm. So you're a young man. Yes. Who are you going to put the blessings on? Wow. And I've learned that through my studies historically and biblically. And I want to put the blessing on my sons my God. and let God honor it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Robert, right now we don't even know where your doors are open. You're being trained. He's been in the film school and he does film. I was asking him a few questions out here. But the doors, many have been closed. But with God, all those doors open up when no man can open them and, and no man can shut them. And this is what I love, Mr. Kennedy, before we close, you always speak a word. Like we, we had we had Ashley Roberts on our show yes. and you empowered her with the word and, and said a prayer. And I want you to do the same for Robert because God is using this young man in a powerful Amen. way. And it's not by accident you hear God wanted we you love hear because Mr. Kennedy's going to say a prayer. The Bible right. talks about laying a hands. Father, I put my hand on Robert, this strong young man. I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll use him in a mighty way. He's been trained and raised in the church. His mother and father dedicated their life for your service. Now use him. Help him to be bold in his witness. Give him this strong body that he might get many accomplishments done. Your favor in his life, your protection in his life, and give him supernatural divine wisdom. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. You had a good time, son? I had a ball. Okay. You gonna come back and see us? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. He's rocking and rolling. Hey. He gonna see me, you know, Robert. All right. We all out of time, and I'm we're, gonna testify. We're out of time, and I'm gonna have the last word. And thank you. Uh -huh. I said I'm gonna have the last I word. Heard and that. I said I'm gonna have. The Robert, last. she said, don't say nothing <laughs> I else. I said I'm gonna have the last word. God bless y'all. Well, Mr. Kennedy, I had the last word. What you would you did. like to say? I'd like to say I'm glad you're here, Robert, because I wouldn't smack your mama outside your <laughs> on presence. On TV, really? I wouldn't do it. And, <laughs> and, I've got Robert here. He'll hold her in line. You know what? That's how when you've been working with someone for so long, you just get so comfortable with that person. Yeah, it's true. But, but we're going to be like love. Reverend Gino. He said, tote them out. <laughs> <laughs> tote them out. You know, the carry truth is, out. What we do love ushers? The ushers are going to come and carry and them out. And we do ushers. love Robert. Robert. Carry him out. And Treva had brought security <laughs> in here. Carry him out. Security. Ain't nobody going to jump on her. Make Ush, sure she gets to the car and off the property. Robert, usher him out. <laughs> yeah. When you see Robert, you know Treva's in trouble. We're going to have to strong handle him. She'll slide out. She got him on speed dial. <laughs> Honey, put your security shirt on and hurry. Come on up in here now. It reminds me, Mr. Kenny and I, we had a workout session. And, you know, I said, you know, it's one thing to show up with the trainer, but why are we showing up in cowboy boots? Oh, it's like, man. come on, on the treadmill. Yep. And so it's just like, you got to get serious about what Let's we're doing. Let's get serious about yeah. some cowboy boots. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Robert, last uh, words, final remarks. I'm glad to be here. I had a ball. Uh, oh. God is good. Look at time. him. He's ready to go again. He is good. Turn me loose. Greater yes. things my students will do yes. than yet I have ever done. And greater thing will my, my students do. Yeah. Robert, if you see that little bruise on your mama's head with a horseshoe, you'll know where it came from. Uh, and it's been long overdue. Your daddy's not here to take oh, control, oh so I'll goodness. have to do it. And Rhonda Jean, God I'll call you. you after the show because he's going to come good. home in a stretch. She's going to need another lawyer. Find you another lawyer. Here we go, Robert. I'm protecting you. We have to hang her up. God bless y'all. Can't wait to see you. We love you. Always come up and speak to us. Bye-bye. It's the Trina and K.